Hello there, it's Melissa from MelissaEsplan.com. Here to share with you a quick tip on how to make your blog look a little bit more professional by um, unifying your image, your images with your post content. So, um, as you can see here on this page, this is our family um, blog, and it's um, it's through Blogger, but it doesn't. You know, these these were just uploaded and added. And while this is a really cool post from my sister-in-law who made the side table, which I still think is awesome, um, they're just, the photos seem kind of all over the place. So um, what you want to do is you want to find out how wide your post content is. I typically do this by taking a screenshot. When I take a screenshot, shift command four if you're on a Mac, not entirely what it sh what it is on a Windows, but I'm pretty sure you can go into your system preferences and take a screenshot from there. Right here it says 557, right here, and um, since I have the border around my images, I want to take off um, about 10 pixels, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do 530 for this just to be safe. So I want my all my images, no matter how tall or wide or short they are, to be 530 pixels wide. So if um, from there, I want to go to picnic.com and I want to upload a photo. And from here, let's see, we'll upload this one with my chair. I love this chair. I got it for five bucks. Um, first of all, I need to crop it down because I have a lot of crap on the outside. So I'll click on crop. Again, I'm using uh, picnic.com. You can easily use Photoshop. Picnic.com is free. So if you don't have Photoshop available for you, this is a fantastic resource. So I'm going to crop. That looks about right. Apply. And then, you know, you can add other um, filters to it like change the exposure the color and everything but we're not really focusing on that today you want to resize it so I know that I want 530 you want to make sure that the keep proportions is checked you don't want the aspect ratio to go crazy so keep the keep the proportion and then this is in pixels so I want 530 um, from here let's click apply and then save and share. So here I want to name my file. Best thing to do is to have a system when you're blogging for your for your photo names. I typically go the name, you know, short name of my blog, Isley, the category, phone, and what it is, vintage chair. Since I've already saved this before, I'm gonna do dash one. So, save the photo. It's going to save to my desktop. And then I'm going to go over to my blogger and I'm going to um, compose a post. So, awesome vintage chair. So, I've added my text. I want to add my photo. Choose files. Easily home vintage chair one. That's the one that we want. Open it up. Add selected. I also yeah. There we go. See so here you can see that um, the size you click on it. Um, and the size is medium. It's not the original size. You want to have the original size. And then um, you also want to make sure I like to have it justified left and um, and then you know you can write some more where is my oh. sweet so now we've, we're finished with the post we want to publish it we'll view the blog so from here See how this is because you've got the thing 
we've accommodated it. It's a couple pixels off, but that's not really that big of a deal in the large scheme of things. So um, it's the same size, and it looks nice, and it's big, and it's, you know, and it loads really quickly. So um, I suggest you do this with all of your posts. Edit your photos down to the exact pixels that you're going to be publishing them at, and your blog will look more professional, and it will load faster. So thanks for reading MelissaSplin.com. Please come back for more tutorials and general awesomeness. Take care.